Right, so we're going to draw the three views of this, the elevation, the end view, and the plan view. All right? It's labelled up which direction they want us to look in. Your elevation is basically your front view, your end view is a side view, and your plan view is if you're looking down from a bird, bird's eye view, you're looking down on top of the object. Handily enough to have this colour coded. So if we're looking in and our elevation, you should be able to recognise we're just going to see the green surfaces. If we're looking in from the side for our end view, we're only going to see the blue surfaces. And then we're looking down from the plan view, we're going to see the red. So if we're looking straight down, we're going to see the red surfaces only. Okay? Now, we're going to start off with our elevation. So we'll see a measurement of 100 at the base, a further 30, an overall height of 60, and then we have to include these little small parts on the side and on the top. Okay? So we're going to start off. Doing any orthographic question, the first line you should draw is your XY line. That's basically your, your base line. You're going to take everything off that. Our elevation is our front view, so we're going to start with that. And what you should try and do is just box off your shapes to start off with. All right? So I have a measurement of 30, a measurement of 100, and then the bit at the side is 40. I have an overall height of 60, and then we have an extra little bit on the top of 10. So begin to put a bit of shape on that. We're going to get our angle on the left hand side. The right hand side is just a right angle. Top line. And then we have to include the side piece, which is down 40 has a thickness of 10. And then finally, the little square, the rectangular piece on the top surface is in 20 from each side and has a height of 10 as well. Okay, so looking at that elevation that I've drawn, and going back to my original 3D image, you see the three green surfaces? You all see them? Yeah. And would you agree that they are all drawn now in my elevation? Yeah. Okay. Right, the next view we're going to draw is basically looking in from the right hand side. Okay? Looking in from the right hand side, we're going to see all of the blue surfaces. Now, obviously, in a junior surf question, these won't be colour coded for you, but just try and eye it up like this. So, we're going to see the blue surfaces. We're looking in from the end view. There is a rule when you're drawing orthographic. If you're looking in from the right hand side, what side is your view going to be on? The left. And vice versa. If you're looking in from the left, you draw on the right. So we're looking in from the right hand side, which means this view is going to be on the left hand side of our page. Okay? We we'll take note of the measurements again. So remember, we're drawn on the left. You're going to leave a gap between your views because you don't want them to be on top of each other. So I leave a gap of 10 mil. It's up to yourself what that distance is. Okay, I usually leave 10 or 20 mil, depending on the question. Continue on my XY line. Now, the overall width of this is 120. All right, so it's just about going to fit on the page. The overall height is going to be exactly the same as the elevation. Because remember, if you're looking at something from the front, you're looking from the side, the height of it doesn't change. It's just your view of it changes. Now, we're going to have to leave a gap of 20 either side. So coming in 20, 20 left and 20 right. And then we can box that off.
Now the last part that, part that I'm missing is just the top part. Okay, it has a width of 80. And that's my end view complete. So looking in from the end view direction, I have all of my blue surfaces drawn. All right. So everybody happy with that so far? Right. Now, the next view to draw is the last one, is the plan view. The plan view is when you're looking straight down on the object, from the air looking down. Your plan view is always going to be in the same place. It goes directly below which of my views? The elevation. Always goes below the elevation. So this is the elevation, which means my plan view has to go directly below it. You can't have your plan view pointing in a different direction than your elevation. Otherwise, they won't match up. So that means that if you bring your lines down from your elevation, they're going to match up with your plan view. So we bring all of those lines down. And my plan view is going to be contained within all of those lines. All right? Now, remember the, what I said earlier on. Whatever distance you leave between your views, I left 10 mil. You have to leave the same distance between the, the next pair of views. It always has to be the same distance you leave. So we're leaving 10 mil, and we draw a start line. Right? When you leave the same distance between them, what you can do is you can bring all of your widths from your end view down at 45 degrees. Okay? That will only work if the distance between the views is exactly the same. And I've purposely done exactly the same. So we can bring the start point down. We can bring the end point down. And we can bring all of those other widths we marked off as well. What it saves you is it saves you time measuring. You can just bring them down at 45 degrees. And again, that will only work if you have the same distance between your views. So we can begin to box this off. You have to match up what line belongs to what line. So a little bit of kind of just visualization involved. So that's the main body of it. Uh, the top part, this little rectangular square at the top. And then finally the rectangular solid on the right hand side. I bring it out as well. And that would be my three views complete. Now, before you wrap up any orthographic question, make sure to label your views. So when you're labeling, make sure you have capital letters, make sure it's neat and tidy, and that it matches up. They're all at the same level, all your lettering. All right? So we'll finish up there.